Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the commanding officer, we would like to welcome you to today's ceremony in which Colonel Wendy J. Goyette will relinquish command as the commanding officer, Marine Corps Cyberspace Operations Group, United States Marine Corps Forces Cyberspace Command to Colonel Edward J. Debesh. Please rise for the invocation delivered by Lieutenant Commander Hood, Chaplain, United States Navy, and remain standing for the March on of the Colors, the playing of the National Anthem, and honors to Major General Matthew G. Glavey. Let us pray from Romans chapter 8. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Almighty Father, thank you for the legacy of service of Colonel Goyer. Please go before her and her husband Curtis and kiddos Heather and Ethan, giving them a future far better than they could ask for or imagine. Please empower Colonel Devish and be with his wife Barbara and kiddos Ryan and Tyler. And please empower us to accomplish our mission far beyond his wildest expectations of providing cyberspace operations support to Marine Air Ground Task Forces, planning and directing Marine Corps Enterprise and Network Operations and planning and directing defensive cyberspace operations. Thank you that you are for us and not against us, and that through you we overcome. Eternal Father, grant we pray to all Marines, both night and day, the courage, honor, strength, and skill, their land to serve, thy law fulfill. Be thou the shield forevermore from every peril to the core. As I pray in Christ's name, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, honors to Major General Matthew G. Glavy. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated.
Now taking her position in the reviewing area is the Commanding Officer, Marine Corps Cyberspace Operations Group, United States Marine Corps Forces, Cyberspace Command, Colonel Wendy J. Goya. Master Gunner Sergeant, deliver the colors to the Commanding Officer. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the ceremony's most solemn moment, the actual passing of command. The battle colors of a Marine Corps unit symbolize the authority and accountability of command. Transferring the colors during the ceremony symbolizes the relinquishing of command by Colonel Goyette, and by accepting the colors, Colonel Devish accepting command and confirming his total commitment to the Marines and civilians that he will command. Master Gunnery Sergeant Hornick is delivering the colors to the commanding officer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the passing of the colors. From the Commandant of the Marine Corps to Colonel Wendy J. Goyette. Subject, change of command. Effective, 1400, 28 June, 2019. You stand relieved of all duties as the Commanding Officer, Marine Corps Cyberspace Operations Group, and are directed to report for duty at Headquarters, United States Marine Corps, Deputy Commandant for Information. Signed, Robert B. Neller, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. From the Commandant of the Marine Corps to Colonel Edward J. Devish. Subject, change of command. Effective, 1400, 28 June, 2019. You will, stand, you will assume command as the Commanding Officer, Marine Corps Cyberspace Operations Group. Signed, Robert B. Neller, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the reading of the Meritorious Unit Commendation. The Secretary of the Navy takes pleasure in presenting the Meritorious Unit Commendation to Marine Corps Cyberspace Operations Group for service as set forth in the following. For exceptionally meritorious service from June 2016 to December 2017, the personnel of the Marine Corps Cyberspace Operations Group made significant monumental contributions to the operational readiness of the Marine Corps by successfully operating the Marine Corps Enterprise Network in the face of aging infrastructure and defending the network in an era of increased threats in cyberspace. The transition from a supporting establishment to an operating force allowed the command to change the method in which the Marine Corps conducts cyber warfare. These actions had far-reaching effects on the operating forces by directly contributing to their ability to quickly and securely send, receive, and share information across the world. These actions increased the warfighter's performance and responsiveness through timely accomplishment of all mission objectives. The ability to provide secure and reliable global electronic mail, directory services, firewall protection, intrusion detection, network defense, virtual private networks, public key infrastructure, defense messaging, on-site support, and worldwide web access serve to cement this unit as the premier and only cybersecurity service provider in the Marine Corps. The dedication and professionalism of the Marines and civilians of Marine Corps Cyberspace Operations Group ensure the Marine Corps' continued success in day-to-day -day operations on and off the traditional and cyberspace battlefields. Through sustained superior performance, aggressive action, and total devotion to duty, the officers, enlisted personnel, and civilian employees of the Marine Corps Cyberspace Operations Group reflected great credit upon themselves and upheld the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and the United States Naval Service. For the Secretary of the Navy, General Robert B. Neller, Commandant, of the United States Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander, United States Marine Corps Forces, Cyberspace Command, Major General Matthew Blaney. Uh, hey, welcome everybody. Uh, your friend, um, Lieutenant Colonel Smith. I don't know if anybody realized when he walked into this building, the jolt of positive energy you all felt. Uh, if there is a leader that can do anything, and, and really no task insurmountable, we are fortunate that he has arrived. So it's great to see him in the back. Of course, pre map, uh, you're maybe to uh, be the mentor, Colonel Devish, uh, in, your, in your current capacity. But I know you two are a great team. It's great having you. Uh, Lorna, you're not, uh, great having you. Incredible task, incredible uh, leadership. Nexter's here, the speaks here. Uh, it's great to see uh, Dan. 
Dan, sorry about that. Great to see you here. Uh, all, all friends and family. I know Megan came to Fort Barbara, and the kids, Ryan and Tyler, back in the day, uh, I was all the shortstop. I can attest to that too. I'm not on this occasion. No know mom and dad are here. Uh, Barbara's uh, parents are here. So it's great, great having you all here. So thank you so much uh, for being here. Uh, so I, I, we, we purposely read the award during this time. Uh, mostly to really reflect the incredible leadership uh, that Beckerul Boyette had provided. Not only in this instance, which is probably less than ideal, but what she did really to make that uh, award real. So I'll tell you that, that John Sony, uh, my, my boss, the back manager for soccer fan, or Adam Norton, who really runs the network, they were here, they would tell you, the Marine Corps, specifically, the Marine Corps Cyber Space Operations Group runs the most disciplined, most resilient, most compliant network in all of the OU, without it. How we do it is good old Marine Corps Leadership 101, right? It really is. The fundamentals of how we run a disciplined network is, is compliant, right? And when you your team do it better than anybody else. I tell you, we may not all the gear, the gadgets, the gizmo, I know uh, General Smith and General Mollick are going to help us get all that, but if this is about people, well, we're in a great place. And, and, I, and I'll take my chances every time if it's about people. So we'll certainly get the technology and the architecture going. We got, right, we find us, ourselves in the software environment and it's the strategic competitors. I don't think history is going to be too kind of us, to be quite honest, but it looks back and see what we did how we've kind of given up a few too many marches to our adversary in this moment. But luckily, we got the men and women in the pod. We haven't allowed the Marine Corps, not once, not ever, to have any type of intrusion. And that's just pure, pure straight up the right? People doing people stuff and uh, so, so fortunate. When we the pod by heart, I want to say thank you for what you've done. Come back here, pillar of strength, cool, calm, confident, confident. Right, she came in, everybody rallied around her, and it's a blessing for me, so from the bottom of our thing. So how you did, how a big round of applause. I know the uh Debbie Cop not remember when she came out to her back like like right after this is over, I'm not sure that's exactly correct, but I wish you it. Uh, because she's that value, right? What she does up there in the in headquarters, headquarters Marine Corps, to make all this happen. Uh, again, we, we need it, right? So, uh, again, so what? Uh, so, uh, Colonel Ed Debish and his awesome family are here uh, to continue. To continue this mission, and it's a big one. Uh, I think Wendy had it about up here with all my aviation happens. Uh, she bought all my new books again, she's going to talk about TNR. Talk about training, you can talk, you know, you can talk about this and talk about eight zero cycles, talk about. But that comes from a heavy wing environment, right? He's been around the wing quite a bit, so we can probably relate, and uh, I can't probably put the body in the BS uh, and I can I do that when I start working out. But what a what an incredible career, accomplished career. I had to try to make the command of another great organization and get a common half right. And his awesome family had some incredible plans and what they were going to do and how they were going to do it. But we had an incredibly great family. Uh, they, have, they have really done an uh, incredible uh, uh, task for us, uh, you know, coming here, being part of this, leading this, and uh, family effort, right? So again, part of our kids, I appreciate what you've done. I know there's some big, tough decisions to be made. The fact that you're here, the fact that you're going to lead this thing is, again, so very, and gives me so much time. So again, I thank you, you all from the uh, bottom of my heart. I know uh, we've got a lot of good things to do. You know, it is such an opportunistic environment right now. We've got great leadership at Edward Marine Corps. We've got great leadership up at the U.S. Soccer Command. Uh, really, the ball's in our court. Common on, our 37th common on is done. Something probably few have done. They really match the mission with resources. Now it's up to us. So we're going to come on again, come on again, to do some pretty tough stuff. Uh, it's going to be exciting, it's going to be challenging, uh, but again, the nation needs it, right? So this is like the end of the And I'll tell you, if we're complacent about it, it will go away. So again, uh, thank everybody for coming, Brian, for being part of this thing. Uh, I'll keep my remarks right there. Uh, God bless you all. Thanks for the Thanks for the great deal. Thanks for the great Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel Wendy J. Goya.
He is the most positive leader I've ever served with. And I have to drink that in for a full year, and it was an absolute pleasure. I give all the Marines around me just kind of gratitude to you, and uh, I was definitely one. General Lee, you got that same sort of positive energy I saw when you spoke yesterday. I didn't know you that well, but I heard great things about you. It's positive, you've got a lot of energy, and you do. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I'd like to believe I'm just as positive, maybe slightly below your positive, if you will. No, I think I, I've got a little bit of positive in the academic as well. But General Lee, uh, man, thank you for coming out. Thanks for the couple of discussions we had on the phone, getting me here. Uh, we're my family, we are all in a very good place right now, and uh, we are all in a very good place. Alright, so uh, I'm really excited to be here, and uh, a lot of y'all know I, I wasn't selected initially to take this event, but after coming here last week specifically and getting to meet some of the Marines in the car, I was, first of all, drawn up, alright? So I started to meet like one or two Marines, so it's a contract. Absolute perfection. Two is it. Everybody knows their job. Everybody does it well. If they think there's something misaligned with the process or something, it's like everybody's like, let's just attack it and figure out how to make it better. And I'm just like watching it all out and like, wow, I get the mail. So this is, this, this is going to be pretty cool. And Wendy uh, did a great job of the meetings last week. You have no idea. The hours that she put in and uh, spent time away from her family. I was here without my family. They just took it right out of time. I got here this morning, so um, you know, I was here all week with her, you know, from 0 to 7 to what was it, 19 to 200 every night uh, over the last, the last week here. And, and I, I really appreciate it all. I mean, you did a few jobs for me, which is a great opportunity to help me prepare for the job. There's a lot of folks that are sitting in this audience, and I saw three of you walking in, so I got you. I'm not doing anything until I saw you walk in. And, and you're all my uh, that's okay. I'm just glad you came. That's what I'm, I'm signaling out for. But I'm also signaling out in the other folks in the crowd too, because you've all had some impact in my life uh, that, that has really shaped who I am today. And as a word, right? And I, I just feel like I'm not going to be able to name names, but you know, some of them are sitting like in the second row right here, and, and some of them are right here. And the fourth row, and they, they continue to go back. So I just want to say thanks. And you know, from the bottom of my heart, it's pretty damn cool. It really is. Uh, I've got some notes, and I just want to make sure I don't miss anybody, right? Or miss anything, because that would be very awkward at the end of my life. So I have to thank the, you know, that, 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 that. So I would go with it. So I'll just make sure I get it all. Oh, the chapter, for the chapter. Thanks for the prayers. Appreciate it. Thanks. Nice job. And then we have uh, oh, our color guard. Thank you, color guard. You guys did a great job. They were practicing all week for this too, right? So, fantastic job. I appreciate it. Your job well done. And the band, thank you so much back here. Like Herb Boyette said, the change of command without a band, really, they didn't change command. And uh, of course, I've done a finish uh, with the thing in my hand. Difficult, right? It's just going to put the right words in the context of what they have to do. Donations in lieu of flowers and gifts are being made to the Marine Corps University Foundation on behalf of the Colonel Devish family and to the Semper Fi Fund on behalf of the Colonel Goyette family. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the retiring of the colors, the playing of Anchors Away, and the Marines Hymn.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's change of command ceremony. Thank you for your attendance.